Okay, welcome back in the second part of our revision for today. So we are going to be revising <clears throat> the short and the long U sound and the soft G and C. And in the description below, I'm going to add you the link of the lesson that we have studied before together you can go back to the link and watch the video one more time because it will be useful so let me read what's written over here the letter you can stand for the short of sound you hear in cut the long u sound you hear in cute can be spelled u another letter and then the magic e and what I want you to do now is to copy and paste the link below in your browser and watch the introduction video to short and long you. And here we go everyone, task number one. And I want you to get your practice book and to open page 62. So choose the word from the box that names each picture. Write it on the line. So we did this together before but let's read the words okay so cup cube here's the short u sound and here's the long u sound let's continue mule top so as you can see long u and short u and another task to do, classify the following words into short U and long U. Remember, we pronounce the short U as O uh, and the long U as U. So what are you going to do is to classify these uh, words into short and long U. So what I'm going to do is to, let's say, choose two colors. I'm going to take the red color and find all the short U words. So, is the word mule have the short or the long mule? It's long because if you want to classify them properly, you need to put in your mind the magic E will make the U sound long. So if you see the magic E at the end of the word, you will know that in this word the U is long. So here's magic E, so it's not short, we're looking for the short. This is also not, yeah, cup. This is short, it has, I mean short, U, magic E, no, yeah, cup, dug, bug, fun. These words have the short U sound. Now, I'm going to change the color into, let's say, blue. Okay, and this, this job is easy because you will find them easily. As you can see, the magic E at the end of the word, it will help you to know that there is a short, sorry, there is a short or long, long, excellent. There is a long U in the word. So here, you okay fuse cube flute tune so here we go everyone we are done with this task so let's move to something else and now let's revise the soft c and g okay what i am going to do is to add the link down the link of the lesson that we have learned before you can watch the video one more time and the video will help you to remember the things that we have learned before about
soft C and G. The C in scent stands for the S or let me say S sound, it's soft C. And the G in germ stands for the J sound, it is soft G. When, <coughs> sorry, when C or G meets E, I or Y, its sound is soft. Okay, now I want you to copy and paste the links below on your browser and watch the introduction videos to soft C and G. And here we go, task number one. I want you to get your practice book page 72. So read each word in the box, then write the words that belong in each list. So here are the words and what you are going to do is to write the words that have the soft G here and the words that have the soft C over there. I'm going to keep this task okay for you. I want you to redo it again because we did this task before in one of the previous lessons. Task number two, read each sentence, circle the word with a soft C or soft G. Write the word. Okay, so I want you everyone to read these sentences carefully and then find the soft C or the soft G. So there will be a craft fair in the center of town. So where's the soft C everyone? We're not looking for the hard C. We're looking for the soft C. That's why I want you to go to the link in the description below and watch the video. The video of the lesson that I explained before. I solved these, all these questions before. I want you to do them by yourself and then go to the video and check the answers. So let me read number two. I cooked a great dish with ginger and carrots. Number three. We gladly collected all the coins in a giant container. Number four. The fancy car cost thousands of dollars number four dad stored the candles in the cellar of the house so everyone try to solve these questions and after that you can use the link below I mean in the description below and check your answers the the link below will take you to one of the previous lessons where I explained the lesson so have a great day everyone see you next week bye